Hello, I'm Dr. Kate Bevan Marks of HypnoTC, the hypnotherapy training company. We get quite a few questions about eye fixation inductions. So I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some of those questions. And perhaps we can start with what is an eye fixation induction? You might be surprised to know that it's actually a very old form of creating hypnosis. Some people say it goes back to the times of Callistro and magicians. And it's as simple as fixating the eyes, looking at something. Now perhaps you'll look at something like our wonderful ceiling here. It may be that you've even wanted to always use the classic hypnotist's watch. So something moving. Other people like to work with a candle flame. Although even a picture of a candle with its flame can form a really good way of creating eye fixation as a point to fixate onto. So you've got your client sitting there or standing and you've asked them to look at a spot on the ceiling or something that's moving. What do you do next? You ask them to continue to focus only on that point. And as they focus only on that point, what you're looking to create is eye tiredness, eye fatigue, which naturally happens when you stare at something. This is the perfect opportunity to build in something like manipulation of distractions. So while they're looking at that point, all of the sounds around them can help them focus all the more on that point and on your voice. And as you do this, so you'll notice that their eyes start to blink a little and a little more. Some people you may even see blink very, very rapidly. And at that point, you can ask them to close their eyes. Or perhaps if you're a little bit more authoritarian, you tell them to close their eyes. Now, who do you use this for? It may be that you have a client who's very anxious and they're scared about closing their eyes. The eye fixation induction gives them the opportunity to take time to get used to the sensations, the experience of working with a hypnotist or a hypnotherapist before they close their eyes in their own way. It might also be that somebody is very much in their body. Perhaps they're quite anxious and they're focused on their internal world. And allowing them to focus outside enables them to come away from their internal experience and to concentrate and focus more on the suggestions that you're giving them. You may find that you're working with somebody who's very analytical. They're listening to every word you're saying and weighing it up. Well, is it this? Is it that? Are my feet really relaxing? Can I relax my knees? I don't know. So perhaps with an eye fixation induction, what you can do is you can build in the phenomena that you notice, such as their eyes blinking, and use it as a convincer. It can really impress your client or your subject if you say to them, and as your eyes become now more heavy and tired, and when you time this to them blinking a little bit more, they can be thinking, wow, how did they know that? And it can add to the experience for the client. What I would like you to do, if it's safe for you to do so, is to sit comfortably. Put your feet flat on the floor. Ensure that you are able to sit in a comfortable position. And then what I would like you to do is I would like you to focus just here. Focus all of your attention on that point just here. And as you focus all of your attention on that point, just there. So you can be aware of all of the sounds around you. Perhaps the sounds distant from where you are. Even the sounds 
closer, nearer to you. And you can allow those sounds to help you focus all the more on that point. With every sound helping you to relax even deeper. And perhaps already your eyes are starting to become a little heavy and tired. And as they start to become a little heavy and tired, so you might find that with every thought, with every feeling and every sensation, you allow yourself to relax even deeper now. And just take a nice deep breath and re-alert yourself. That's how I might start off an eye fixation induction. And they're really useful wherever you are, whatever you're doing. There will always be something to fixate your attention on. So thank you for watching. For more videos, go to our HypnoTC YouTube channel. And to find out more about our courses and workshops, please visit www.hypnotc.com. Goodbye.